happy Easter Sunday. My friends, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful, gorgeous, blessed day. All the cookies are gone. <laughs> I passed out all the cookies to everybody and I'm glad I packaged them the way I did because it turned out absolutely 100% perfect. I had enough cookies for everybody that I ran into. It's 10.38 and I wish I had gotten some footage of the inside of the church. It looked really nice. Um, just white, you know, swags of fabric um, on the chandeliers or light fixtures and all the Easter lilies on the altar and everything is really nice, but too many people trying to take pictures and I didn't have time beforehand. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys um, had a wonderful Easter. If you celebrated Easter, um, it's just such a beautiful day today. It poured. It was literally for Southern California, torrential rains. <laughs> and I meant to, I was meant to wear open toe shoes, but with the rain, no, I just couldn't. It was so cold and I was carrying the cookies and I was afraid it was gonna drop everything. And anyway, it all worked out. It all worked out and the sun came out. I mean, how glorious is that? How glorious is that? Done with singing, gonna go home, make the ham, head over to my mom's and then we'll have just low-key casual kickback Easter Sunday at my mom's house as we do and I'll get to see the dogs again all right wanted to check in for a happy Easter here's to a new weekly walk uh your mom did say she didn't really have bed she just said we should stop and buy some bed and stuff and she's okay yeah maybe I'll do that maybe I'll just make this glaze and then, yeah. Or we could maybe order from that Mandarin over by them. Happy Easter Monday. Just doing some catch up. Sink is a mess. Um, <laughs> yesterday was so nice for Easter. Uh, and as soon as mass was done, came home, cooked the glazed for the ham. And then we ended up taking uh, everything to my mom's and I cooked the ham there. We ended up having that for dinner instead of lunch. So we kind of get there for a lunchtime gathering and it's just like literally a handful of us. It's me, Rob, my mom, my sister, my aunt, and then Rob's mom. So six people, <laughs> six people just hang out, you know, eat, graze, sleep. <laughs> very, very low key. I finally got a chance to take a, a that old nap. It was a nice holiday. I don't know, it's just the build up to it is just so intense with like masses and then like I made the cookies, which I gave all away. Uh, just one little bag of like a cross left and I gave that to my mom. Um, and yeah, so that is it. I don't know what to do with these reject cookies. Um, and I'm calling them reject because they're edible, but do you remember I made the first batch out of the frozen cookie dough? I think maybe I had left, you know, it was in there since last fall. So I think maybe it got a little bit freezer burnt. So it kind of tastes, has this like little off taste to it. 
not like it's gone bad, but like, you know, you can tell like something's a little bit freezer burnt or like the oil in it or something is just not quite right. So I didn't want to serve those to people. So I have them here. So I'm trying to decide whether or not I should toss them. It's 748 right now. And um, yeah, guys are coming back around nine-ish to start all their work and everything. Oh, another hummingbird. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's, it's not even near anything red. It's over by the cypress bush. Kind of weird. Can you see that little thing? Oh, it, it flittered off. Did you see that little thing? Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, sorry, our windows are so dirty. Oh, there it is. What is it even doing in there? Oh, this makes me so happy. Makes me so happy. I can see how my dad was enamored of them because they're so tiny and their bodies are so still, yet their wings are like fluttering so fast. I'm gonna go ahead and order that and put it right here near the front kitchen window and hopefully now that it's spring and you know, all the birds are looking for nectar and things like that. I just, it's so funny that it's over there by the cypress tree or cypress bush. Well, that's my little morning uh, update for Easter Monday morning and I will see you guys a little bit later. Hope you had a beautiful, wonderful Easter if you celebrated Easter. Okay, I'm gonna talk super soft because the guys are working in the bathroom right now. They're fixing the plumbing so can they put the new valve in for the shower tub faucet thing. But um, I made the garlic fried rice uh, for the week, the next few days. And look at all of that ham. Look at all of this ham. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna save this. I'm going to attempt to make a pea soup with ham. I haven't done that in a really, really, really long time, but why waste it? Look at that. That's a lot of meat on there still. So I'm gonna use that for soup and all of this ham. I just wanted to cut it up, take it off the bone so there's no excuse. And you know, I don't ha I wouldn't have to do that every single time, but slice that up for sandwiches, um, dinners, just whatever. So, and for the fried rice. There you go. That's, I don't know how many meals that is. That's a lot. And Capri's in the kitchen here with me so she doesn't go running off when the guys open the door, but I brought her bed and we've got that out there. Hmm. I mentioned that I took just her from my mom's and left a Bambino at my mom's so that he wouldn't, you know, cause he's the one that like really reacts and stuff right now. She's just pretty chill, but okay. Hey, the guys have left for lunch and to go grab some extra parts and stuff, but that I'd take this opportunity to speak to you freely uh, at a normal volume. Hey, I don't know what they're doing. It looks like they, um, they fixed this and is this the new? Yeah. Oh wait, did they? Oh, they did. Okay. So yeah, that's the new, well, they didn't do the, the shower, the shower head yet, but this looks good. This looks good. I think they're gonna do the flooring first before they put the vanity, so I'm guessing that's still down the line. Do they still have the shower? Yeah, that's the shower head right there, that little dinky thing. All right, 
Okay, progress, I think. Oh, let me close this door so Capri doesn't get in. She's up now. She was zonked and sleeping in the kitchen. And then I caught her eating a bug. I'm like chewing on something. I'm like, what are you eating? She spits out this bug. I'm like, ew, gross. Why are you eating bugs off the floor, huh? Oh, gosh. Let's get a snack. Come on, so you stop eating bugs. I'm going to give her her glucosamine. Come on, let's have a little snack. Oh. Okay, it's 6.48. Um, I have been sat in my car, as the Brits say. I have been sat in my car for the last probably half hour writing a Yelp review for this FedEx Kinko's that I just came out of. Um, so you saw, um, I wanted to print this for the cupcakes that I'm doing for Forgiveness Cakes. And um, this is a different FedEx that I normally, that, that I normally go to. Um, and I've done print jobs like this before many, many, many times. But I happen to be in the area, so I thought, oh yeah, there's a FedEx there. I'll just go to that one. I thought, quick, in, out, you know. I have, I have my um, file on my USB flash drive, like, you know, USB drive on my keys. Um, and I thought, quick, in, out, no big deal. No big deal. I, I provide my own cardstock, you know. So, <clears throat> long story short, I have issues, paper jams, blah, blah, blah. I'm worried that I got charged for something I didn't get the print for the first couple times. But this employee that was helping me, helping me, and I use that very loosely, um, she seemed annoyed the entire time. Like, there was even one point where I was talking to her, like she was like over on the other side of the counter. I think she was working on another like job or whatever. And I was, I talked to her and I said like, oh, it's still not working, you know, kind of like to that effect. And she, she basically pretended that she couldn't hear me. And she kept like, you know, continuing doing whatever it was she was doing. I'm like, there's nobody else. I mean, there was one other employee there and I think she was helping somebody else at the time, or I'm not really sure. Um, I didn't see her at this point, but yeah. So she basically kind of just like pretended like she wasn't, she couldn't hear me. And so I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and then I was like, excuse me, excuse me. You know, and I'm, I'm not trying to be a Karen, you know what I mean? But like when somebody acts like they're annoyed with you, if I can be frank and say, I mean, it pisses you off, right? It's like, you want good customer service. I just want to print this one thing. Okay, maybe you're annoyed. Maybe you're having a bad day. Maybe you, you hate your job, whatever. You're tired. Um, you can't wear that in your sleeve. It, you just can't. It's, it's bad customer service. And I mean, I have worked customer service for a long time. And maybe not in your traditional retail sense. But any job you have where you've got other vendors or you have clients, you have um, students, colleagues, that's a customer service experience. I was always taught that excellent customer service is basically anyone you come in contact with, you know, that you're providing either a service or you're just interacting. I mean, it's basically just like the human experience. Somebody wants to feel like they are being heard um, and I'm not even saying like my print job was like super, super crazy important, but you know what? It kind of is. I had one sheet to print, one little piddly file that could make an 11 year old boy's day. Okay. I'm going to get emotional right now because I mean, that's what it is, right? Like on the surface, it doesn't seem important to you. But it was, it's important to me and it's important to him. It's important to me that I get this done. And I just wanted to have a positive experience. You know, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be like a big deal. Okay. I mean, to act like you're being inconvenienced. She goes into the back at some point. And she goes, oh, I'll be with you in a minute. She goes into the back for literally maybe like 30 seconds. She comes out and she was like, oh, and, and I'm just like standing there, like looking at her and she goes back to doing whatever it was she was doing. And she looks up and, and she was like, oh, you know, like, oh, I'm like, come on, really? 
it just makes me so frustrated because I'm going to make a, a blanket generalization here that I just feel like customer service has gone downhill exponentially. I mean, especially in places like California, minimum wage is going to be $20 in California. I mean, that's insane, you know, and, and then in places like service, service jobs, you know, like where you tip and stuff like that, they're tacking on tips automatically. And so it's like, well, why, why, why do I need to provide good customer service if I'm going to get tipped anyway? Or, you know, my minimum wage is $20 an hour. That's insane. Yes. Cost of living has gone up. Yes. Inflation is a real thing, but still it's like, you know, it's just the human experience. Do you not want to be treated like you matter? I'm not even saying like status wise or anything like that. I just mean like, so anyway, the second employee eventually was like, she kind of stepped in, you know, towards the end, seeing that I was still frustrated and the other girl just went back to whatever it was she was doing. Um, and okay, maybe she had to get something done, but I mean, like I said, you cannot wear that on your sleeve. You can't act like somebody is annoying you. I'm there. I'm a customer. I'm there in person. You know, um, if you would just help me, <laughs> you know, you could get back to doing whatever it is that you feel is so important that you need to do. <sighs> yeah. But anyway, so I sat in my car <laughs> for a long time. I was like, I cannot believe I'm writing a review for FedEx Kinko's right now. I just cannot believe I'm sitting here in my car. It's been like a half hour. And, um, but what do you do? I mean, what, what can you do in the end? The second employee who helped out, even if it was so brief, the way she spoke to me, and I'm not even saying like she was patronizing or she was, you know, brown nosing or anything like that. It wasn't even like that, the way she spoke to me, but she spoke to me like, I, and I hear your concern. I hear your frustration. Let me just help you so that you can be on your way and we can continue doing our job. Um, but she, she was friendly. It was such a quick interaction that that's, that's all you, that's all she needed to do. The, the first girl, that's all she needed to do was just to like, um, listen just to listen because that's what people want right like anybody like human beings they just want to be heard I just want you to understand I am frustrated and I just want to get this one page printed out for a little boy whose birthday is tomorrow I don't know his situation but you know there's a reason that he's part of this program and I want to make sure he has a good birthday <sighs> oh my gosh I'm really getting emotional right now. I am. Anyway. So that was my experience at FedEx Kinko's here. <laughs> I'm never going back there again. That's the thing, right? And then you like alienate people. You alienate people. Like I have these terrible, awful feelings right now. Wait, did I for like, I feel like distracted. Wait, did I forget to do something else? No, see, because I was like running errands, right? I was running my errands, and now I feel like I'm distracted, like I'm forgetting something. I'm gonna have to go out again, but oh my gosh, it's terrible. Why do people do that? Why can't they just? I even put in my review. It's like I'm pretty sure <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't expect that kind, you know, that you would expect better. Like if she was the customer, I'm pretty sure she would not want to be served by herself. Like if she served herself, she'd be pissed too. Okay. I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> I'm almost home and I'm going to have dinner and I'm going to make the cupcakes and, and that's my Monday. <laughs> Happy Monday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Rant over.
morning. It's Tuesday morning, April the 2nd. It is the anniversary of my daddy's birthday. <laughs> so thinking of him today as I drop off these cupcakes for a little boy who was also born on April 2nd, which is a lot of the reason why I was kind of emotional yesterday and the reason that I selected this particular birthday because I wanted to do something sort of to remember my dad. Uh, so celebrating a birthday on April 2nd today. Um, it's 7.45. I made sure to read the instructions because this delivery needs to happen by nine o'clock. So I wanna make sure I get there, you know, with rush hour and all of that. Um, and then today the guys are gonna be working, continue working on the plumbing in the house. So I anticipate not going anywhere <laughs> else today other than just, you know, just this. Um, and then I'll be home most of the rest of the day until they're done. Okay, it's still early, 8, 12. I had to leave early because um, <laughs> I had to move my car. We parked tandem in the driveway, so. Um, Rob needed to leave and so I just said to just sleep early, but this gives me an opportunity for the time that I have been waiting for the last 40 days. <laughs> my first Starbucks coffee. Yes, my first Starbucks coffee after Lent. So I just got a Pikes, Grande Pikes with a splash of heavy cream and hazelnut. I splurged. I originally I ordered the sugar-free vanilla, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go for full-on hazelnut tonight. So tonight, today. So mm, it's hot, but it's good. Okay, let me just let that cool off for a bit. I have quite a bit of time actually. Uh, I don't think it's gonna take me that long to get there. So let me just take the lid off of this sucker, so it'll cool off a little bit faster. And just kill some time. <laughs> I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos. All right, I'll see you after the delivery. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. Um, 7.47 and I've been super, super lazy this morning. Guys are coming back around nine-ish, I think. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't really been able to vlog so much because I've been in the house the last few days, <laughs> um, you know, with the guys working and everything. Sorry, I have something in my eye, I think. Anyway, yesterday I had to get out of the house. I bought, um, we bought dog food for Capri because she was running low and I was like, I have to get out of the house because I haven't been out of the house, um, you know, other than dropping off the cupcakes yesterday. Um, I've got a dish full of things that I'm gonna work on this morning. I'm doing music this morning or today because that needs to get out for the Sunday. And <laughs> as much of a waste as it is, I've decided to, and toss these guys because I keep eating them. I keep eating them and I'm the only one eating them. So I'm just gonna throw them out. I did buy a new candle yesterday. I'm burning it today. It's white rose and peach, the mainstays. And it smells so peachy. I don't really get so much of the rose, but I like it. It's a nice delicate fla flavor. It's a nice delicate scent. It only has one wick and it's kind of tall. So I'm worried it's going to like start tunneling, but you know, it was like $6. I really like it. So I'll add that to my kitchen candle collection. Um, so yeah, let me just get to doing these dishes here again. Sorry for the, the lack of the content, if you will, this week. And like I said, I just been stuck in the house and I just not really much going on. No steps, hardly any steps yesterday. Oh my gosh, so, so, so bad. I think like by the time the guys left yesterday, I looked at my watch and I barely moved for a quarter of a mile. Granted, yes, I could hop on the little walking pad while they're here, but it's a little bit awkward. 
So um, it's just like really been just a catch potato the last few days. So, and then plus on top of that, eating the cookies. So that's not good either. Okay, get to doing this. Hope you guys are having a good week so far and I will see you at some point. Bye. Okay, day, I don't know, <laughs> progress, but the new vanity is in. I think it looks good. The only thing is, well, it's not the best quality. I'm not sure if this is already scratched from when the guys are working. I do like these, these work already, they said. So yeah, these were nice. Gonna get some mirrors in. Uh, we got the lighting fixture. They need to move that to the center so it's centered, but I mean, it's definitely modernized. Um, it's so much better than the blue tile. But yeah, that was what I was worried about was the surface of this. The other thing is there's a bit of capping here. I hope they can fill that in or something. Um, I'm not really sure why. But the handles look really good. I think the handles really go with the faucet. I think good job matching that. Once this is all said and done, they're going to install the new toilet and finish up the flooring. Um, yeah, the flooring looks really good. It's so much nicer than the other tile. This is the same flooring that we had throughout and they just made it so it's like seamless. So, so that's nice. It's one continuous and it follows the flow. So I like that. This, uh, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in this, but hey, it is what it is. And yeah, I really do, I hope they can fix that because that looks a bit, not so nice. Yeah, I mean, I like the color. It's, it's not the most quality of pieces, but well, it's a hundred times better than what was here before, that old wooden Honka Pre, the old wooden one. The old one had so much warping and like the the doors wouldn't close all the way. They would like they were like off kilter and the paint job was really like shoddy. Um I think when the mirrors get in and the lighting, it'll look nice is the update. Okay, it's six o'clock, 6.15 actually. I'm headed out because I've been cooped up all day and I forgot Rob has a meeting tonight so he's gonna be home pretty late. So I'm like, well, meat's still defrosting <laughs> and I'm not hungry yet so I'm gonna go out. I think I'm gonna pop into Home Goods, check out some shower curtain rods, uh, you know, just bathroom accessories and stuff. I, I do have some things saved on my Amazon wish list for like towel bars and things, but I'm gonna see what they have at Home Goods. I just wanted to get out, I wanted to get out, get a little bit of sun since there still is sun at six o'clock now. <laughs> That's the only good thing about the spring forward, you know? So, but it looks like it was a nice day and I'm actually quite warm. I'm wearing this sweater, silly, silly girl. Um, but yeah, it looks like a nice day. I'm just gonna get out for a little bit, look around. Tomorrow, the guys are gonna come back. They ended up having to order the toilet that Rob wanted because there was a an issue with the sizing of the toilet. So I guess the space where a toilet is right now is like really small for even like the standard toilet. Rob wanted a, a specific kind of toilet, like the more, like the sleek, not a one piece, but not with all like those little grooves and stuff. Cause like personally, neither one of us likes to clean all the little grooves, you know what I mean? So something a little bit more streamlined is what we were kind of like hoping for. So they had to go, the guys went to uh, plumbing or not a plumbing, but like a, you know, a place where you can order, buy toilets. <laughs> um, and they were able to order one, but it isn't going to come until tomorrow, like after noon or something like that. So at least it's on order. It should be coming in tomorrow. They'll be able to put the toilet in and then put the flooring in. We're almost done. Uh, so really, it only took like a total of about a week, a little over a week, I think, if they finish when they're supposed to finish, you know. Yeah, then we'll have our bathroom back. <laughs> and I don't have to worry about that blue tile. I won't be able to see those those hard water stains on that blue tile. Oh my God, such a pain in the butt. But, but. <laughs> so, okay, home goods, towel fixture, shower curtain rod, and maybe some mirrors. Cause I wanna, I wanna get some like black framed, you know, kind of modern mirrors. Uh, 
even if we don't have the guys install it, I think we could hang them up like picture frames. I mean, I, I think. drops at 10 a.m. I'm gonna get there at like 6 and wait in line because like everything's gonna sell out blah 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 I'm like are you serious um, and I didn't know if he would or not you know um, but he FaceTimed me around 5 30 so it would have been about 7 30 over there <laughs> he was there he was there there was probably like one other kid there so he wasn't the only one but <laughs> Hey, if it's that important to him that he wants to wait, more power to him. So I just thought that was a fun little thing that I'd share with you because cause it's my boy and I love talking about my boy and I miss him and yeah, it's it's nice. We, we've been having some fun talks like he'll FaceTime me, um, FaceTime us, like in the, not in the middle of the night, but at night and you know, just talk about random things. He's, he, he likes to philosophize. Philosophize? Is that a word? Yeah, um, he likes to talk like theoretically this, theoretically that, or you know, like what if, <laughs> I'm like, why are you not a philosophy major? Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go now. I'll see you after Walmart. Well, that was an adventure. I bought a whole bunch of dresses and just stuff. Um, <laughs> but then this one that I bought had a sensor on it and nobody had a little gun to remove the sensor. There were uh, dresses, there were a couple of dresses that were $5 each on clearance. So I definitely got those and they fit really well. I got just a plain black one and then this like blue color, which I both loved. And then I got a couple pairs of shorts. I did get rice, basmati rice and turn off. <laughs> and I also got some bread. So it's 9-12. I know I said I was gonna go to Costco, but I'm not going to Costco. <laughs> I don't really need to anymore at this point. I was gonna go just for the bread and um, maybe see what fruit they had because the other day we went to Walmart <laughs> and I'm starving. I don't know why I'm just, I'm so hungry right now. I know I should probably just like not eat and then that uh, feeling will subside, but I'm just gonna have one slice of this. I haven't tried this seeded Sola bread before. So I still have my coffee. Um, but yeah, I was going to go to Costco to get uh, some keto bread because they have the two pack of keto bread there, but it's all right. 
So I was saying about my little adventure, neither one of the doors had the little gun to remove the sensor. Went to customer service, so I'll go to customer service, they'll be able to help you there. She didn't have one either. Went back to that first door and I said, she doesn't have one. <laughs> They're like, I don't know what to do. Oh, call and FaceTiming, hold on. But that was like school, school stuff. He, he needed uh, advice on registering or contacting his advisor. That kid is like the king of procrastination. So I'm going for a second slice of bread. <laughs> these are tiny. I'll make my way to home goods, return these mirrors, then I'll make my way home, Bible study, etc. Okay, see you guys later. Okay, I popped in super quick at the house and the guys are working on the toilet. They're putting the toilet in. So there's no water. I can't use the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Drank a lot of coffee this morning. So I am here near Nordstrom Rack and I'm gonna use the Nordstrom Rack bathroom. And then I might as well look around for just a little bit. I mean, like, why not? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to do a car haul. They were having the clear the rack sale, you know, trying to get rid of all their winter gear. Um, so they had an extra 75% off like blankets, sweaters, boots, you know, wintry things. Um, and then the regular Clear the Racks is 25% off. These are all final sale. I got, um, it's gonna be kind of hard to show you because I can't like pull back or anything to really show you what they look like. But I got this Vince Camuto dress uh, in this lovely color. I love this color. And it's got ruching all down the front. It's like right here along the chest it's got like a little twist action this was 33 and change and then I totally made out with the sweaters because they were extra 75% off this is a cashmere sweater it's a 360 cashmere brand and originally well, I don't know what it was originally originally but the clearance was 150 I'm not really sure why extra 75, I guess my math is just not very good, but it's this like cable knit, I mean, it's like a knit. It's like lighter weight, which is great for here in LA because, you know, the weather fluctuates so much and it doesn't ever really get super, super crazy cold, but this is great because you can layer and it's a lighter and it's a mock turtleneck. This was $28, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And I love this color. It's classic camel, you know, it just, it goes with everything. And then I got these two Tahari sweaters. These aren't wool or anything. It's probably like, I think it says viscose. So, but anyway, um, I got this color and like this beigey kind of color, cream color. And then also this lighter camel. Um, I have a light gray one. You've probably seen me wear it in videos, but I have the light gray version. And guess how much these were? One was like 348 and the other one was 371. So score, I am so excited in my size, love it. So all said and done, I spent $75 at Nordstrom Rack with that sweater alone. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Also, funny little anecdote, actually a, a wonderful little anecdote. I came here to use the bathroom, right? So I made a beeline for the bathroom and I was walking as I was like approaching the restroom, a woman stopped, she gasped and she goes, oh, I love your perfume. And I was like, me, me? <laughs> so I was like shocked. I was like, oh, thank you so much. You know, I was surprised because not a lot of people, not everybody can smell my perfume. I'm wearing La Labo Another 13. And if you saw my La Labo video, I was super excited to get it. And um, I wore it today. Like literally I only spritzed maybe like four times. Like one, two, three, four, okay? I actually can't really smell it that much anymore on me because you know, your nose kind of sometimes you can get immune to the smells after a while. Um, but she was like, oh, I love your perfume. What is it? It smells so good on you. And I was like, oh, I'm so pleased you can smell it because not everybody can smell it. She's like, what is it? So I told her what it was and she must be some sort of like, I don't know, fragrance chemist or something because she was like, oh, well, when I was working with Beckham's wife to develop her perfume, I was like, are you 
are you talking about Victoria Beckham? <laughs> I'm like, are you talking about Victoria Beckham? Anyway, I didn't have that conversation with her, but I was so surprised that she said that. But um, yeah, so that was just so funny that she had noticed because that was the furthest thing from my mind was my perfume. I completely even forgot that I was wearing perfume because like I said, I can't smell it anymore on me, but, and she wasn't standing very close. I just, I walked past her and she was maybe like five feet away. <laughs> she just loved it. So that made my day. Um, I guess, you know, that makes it all worth it. <laughs> It was a good investment. I really like it still. I'm having all kinds, <laughs> all kinds of interactions today. So I'm pumping gas at the gas station <laughs> and um, the guy, I'm, I'm like waiting for a spot, right? So like there's a guy and then he's finishing pumping his gas in the car and he looks at me like, you know, like he's apologizing for something. I was like, what, what, I can't hear you. Um, he comes around to the side, the passenger side, and I can't open my window for some reason. It's busted. It won't roll down. So I, he unlocks the, or I unlock the door and then he just opens it and he, he like tells me what he was, you know, he looked fine. He was like, and there were plenty of people at the gas station. So I wasn't like freaked out or anything. Um, but he was like, I'm sorry. You know, my mama wanted a receipt. And so they're, they're getting a receipt. So I'm sorry. It's going to take a while. I'm like, it's okay. It's fine. I'm not in a rush, blah, blah, blah. And then he goes. I'm watching I'm watching like um, a video of our of our live stream from the church just reviewing it and stuff like that and then um, he notices that I'm like listening to him and he's like you know what you should train with me I was like okay and um, so he's like yeah I'm a train I'm a personal trainer I have a gym over here blah 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 um, let me get you a card I'm like all right and I am um, he, get, he gives me his card. I'm not going to show it to you, obviously, because it has his info and like all that stuff. But um, yeah, it was just so funny because um, on here it's got like some scripture and stuff. So I don't know if like him noticing that I was like watching the live stream from our mass um, triggered anything for him and like thought he should ask. Or maybe it's just the fact that I'm like fat. <laughs> So he goes, yeah, you know, it's going to be 80 degrees next week. You know, no more jackets. I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm like, I probably should. And he's like, yeah, you know, what's your name? This is my name. And so he's like, yeah, you should come train with me. I'm like, okay, all right, I'll look into it. Thanks. Have a great day. <laughs> so that's the first one. And now I'm in the line at Chick-fil-A and the guy's taking my order, right? Um, I give him the order and everything. And then he goes, I like your outfit. I was like, thanks. <laughs> I'm just wearing a denim jacket with a shirt and black pants. Okay, it's like nothing, I don't know, it's funny. And he's like, any errands today? And I was like, well, I went shopping and I showed him the Nordstrom rack. He's like, oh, what'd you get, you know? And I said, they're having this big sale. You know, I got this cashmere sweater for like under 30 bucks. Um, he's like, wow, you know, I've bought cashmere before. I don't know what it is about cashmere, but like I bought a cashmere beanie and I was like 130. I was like, oh my gosh, so. <laughs> I don't know. It's just interesting. And then he fist bumps me. He gives me a fist bump. <laughs> it was so funny. It's like, okay, good. He goes, psh, psh. <laughs> oh my word. That's so funny. What is with today? All the, all the interactions today. Okay. I will see you guys later. Cheers. Happy, happy Friday. It's a gloomy day, gloomy, gloomy day. And um, I'm not sure if the guys are coming again today. Uh, the only thing they need to do is they need to paint. Well, they need to install the light. Oh, it rained. Is it raining? They still need to install the lighting fixture, put the trim back. Um, I think they actually need to order like a little quarter, quarter panel, quarter, what do they call it? Quarter round. Quarter round. They need to order quarter round to match the flooring um, paint. And I think that'll be it. So it's pretty much all done. The toilet actually looks really good. I 
didn't realize that was the kind of toilet that I wanted, but you know, just kind of sleek, kind of skirted all the way around. Didn't have all those grooves. You gotta like worry about clean, you know how it goes. Um, so I think cleaning the toilet might be a more pleasant experience. <laughs> I definitely want to have more plants in the bathroom. We have a nice, uh, large window, like where the, sh you know, where the shower is. So there is some nice light coming in through there. So, um, I think some plants would be really nice. That is a Friday morning update. Hope you guys have a great day. Okay, so it's 7.15, catching up with my vlogs that I like to watch, and I am cooking dinner. <laughs> I'm cooking dinner, because I'm motivated. I'm motivated, like I said, if I don't do it in the morning, like, I'm not gonna cook later, so. I am cooking up some ground beef, gonna add some mushrooms, the cream of mushroom and onion soup mix, and we'll just serve that either with rice or pasta, so. Oh, and onions, I have onions that I diced up a while back and they're in the freezer, so I'm gonna add that as well. One, it's the good stuff. <laughs> mm, it smells so good. Frozen onions, give it a whack. <laughs> Mushrooms. Cook that down. Oh, I have to make coffee. I haven't made coffee yet. Just did a whole thing. <laughs> it looks like slop, like slop. <laughs> and then just add some of this. I don't know if I should add all of it. Why not? Ooh, I forgot I had this on Trader Joe's. Have you tried this? The mushroom, the umami? Let me see. Why not? Just a little bit, a little pepper. Sure, why not? Want some flavor. Little taste. Mmm. That's good. Mushrooms still haven't cooked down, but that is delicious. Alright. Now let us turn it down so it can simmer with the lid on. And dinner's almost done. <laughs> and it's not even 7 30. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, it's four o'clock. It's four o'clock. Guys finally left. They finished. Here's the bathroom. It's done. <laughs> mind you, mind you, it is not perfect. This is our, you know, inner room bathroom since we can't get it fully, fully redone, but the toilet looks so good. They put the cord around in and he notched it really nicely to make that fit. Um, this is the lighting fixture. We still need to get light bulbs, but I really like it. And yeah, so there is our nice new clean-ish space. This was our mistake to keep these jets thing chrome, but I don't know. I think it's fine. Nobody can see it. I think if we painted it, the, pa the paint would have peeled off anyway. Um, I like it. It looks good. Yay. And I have taken more showers than I can count <laughs> because our tub is like not peeling, not disgusting. It's clean and it's like nice and bright and white. It's so nice to be able to take a shower in a bright white bathroom. I don't know, that's just me. That navy blue was not cutting it for me, but I do like the lighting fixture. I love the faucets and the handles that we matched. So yay, we got our semi-new bathroom. 
<laughs> this is the other mistake. I don't know if you noticed, they took the towel bars off. There are no towel bars in here, but the one thing I forgot to have them remove was this, the old, what do you call it, toilet, um, toilet roll holder. So when we get the new fixtures and stuff, because I haven't ordered them, I think um, we'll just have them install it and then either paint around it or just paint that whole side of the wall or something like that. But yay! yay. <laughs> it's nice to have our house back again. I did buy a shower caddy, like one of those extendable shower caddy things. But it's just one of these shower caddies that goes from the ceiling to the, well, in this case, it'll be the side of the tub, so. So I'm planning to put a plant up there that may go up or down, just depending, but I think it would be nice to have some green in here, some kind of trailing plant. I think that would look really nice, or maybe a fern or something, just something green. Now we can put stuff in here. That's what that looks like. I think I showed you earlier. Oh, and this little guy, gotta put this somewhere. Where shall we put you? Is this for razors? Maybe it's for razors. Let's put you here for now. <laughs> Let's put this here for now. I don't know. I like it though. And then this is little um, things for razors I think you can put in there. And then here it's got these little notches where you could technically put stuff upside down, I guess. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that. So, all right, there it is. Can't wait to get a plant. I think I'll move that down a little bit. Yay! Okay, last bit to end the vlog of the week. I'm gonna try a microwave mug cake, single serve. So let's try it. I was looking at Pinterest because I was like craving cake and then I remembered when I made the birthday cake the one time I got extra because these were like on sale. You don't know how large of a mug you need, but I'm just gonna use one of these smaller ones. I don't think it's gonna be a huge serving. The method is three, two, one. Three tablespoons of the cake mix, two tablespoons of water for one minute. <laughs> so let's see if that works. All right. One. And two tablespoons of water, I'll be back. Two tablespoons of water, I'm gonna get a different spoon. And we mix it. I really hope this works. And in a sense, I really hope this doesn't work. <laughs> so it's like, like that. Okay, no eggs involved. Yeah, so I did just put that in my mouth. <laughs> okay, one minute, let's go. In the meantime, I have extra German chocolate frosting in here from the cake I made for a uh, birthday last, was it last week, the week before? Here we go. Okay, let's see if it worked. Okay, here it is. See that? Okay. Let's see how I'm gonna do this. Let's see what it looks like. Shall we? Go like this. <laughs> Ta-da! I don't even have my glasses on. Let me get my glasses. Okay, I gotta see what I'm doing here. Focus. It looks like cake, okay. <laughs> oh, this is dangerous. This is very, very dangerous. Right, and, oh, this is totally hardened, but let's see, it's solidified because it's all sugar, but German chocolate right on top of there. I'm just gonna put a little bit. 
and it's not going to be warmed up at all, but maybe, well, you know what, next time I will do it separately. Okay, here we go, a little dessert. Mm. Wow. <laughs> oh dear. That's good. Give it a try. Have you ever made a mug cake before? I mean, this is, oh. <laughs> This has got to be the easiest recipe, quote unquote recipe. <laughs> oh dear. But this is actually quite perfect. If you're just craving a little something, just one serving. Mm. It's moist. It's actually moist. And so there you have it. <laughs> I've got dessert and I'm just gonna call the vlog because that's a great way to end the vlog, I think. Nice sweet ending to a really nice week. Totally chill, a week at home. Perfect ending, a mug cake. A mug cake with German chocolate frosting. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the vlog. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to grow my little community, my little family here little vlog weekly vlog family and I hope I see you back next week all right leave me a comment down below I love to chat I love to answer and reply to all your comments so please do say hello down below and I will catch you in the next one okay take care bye